house because we don't have it. Don't tax Kenyans on it. Mr. Speaker, corruption, corruption, corruption. In all these words, the word anti-corruption you will never hear from the words of those who speak for the government side. In fact, you only see the demonstration of those who are facing corruption charges being withdrawn. It is on record from the previous president that we lose two billion shillings every day to corruption. If we could even just reduce that to one billion, we would you know, fix the gap that they are talking about in government. Then there's rationalization, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you are aware, and this House has debated, in the previous uh, parliament, there was a report that suggested that we do not need the over 530 uh, ministries and departments of government that we have, the parastotals. Most of them are duplicative, and it was suggested that we should reduce them to barely 50. Instead of reducing them, we have a situation where we are sustaining even those which are moribund, those which are not working. We are giving opportunity to others to earn a living. Mr. Speaker, as I finish, uh, Mr. Speaker, my, Mr. Speaker, I, Mr. Speaker, my two minutes were taken. Can I get my two minutes back, please? My two minutes. Yes. Mr. Speaker, two closing remarks. You must listen to us, because even if you use the majority to pass this, there's still the courts. And even if you deal with the courts, there's still the people who are sovereign. Two things. One, you cannot have a situation where you are bringing the housing tax here. I want to invite you to note, first of all, that under Schedule 6, the role of housing is for the counties, it's not for the national government. And I invite you to look at Clause 8D. The national government is only to do the housing policy. So when you are bringing the question of housing and you're introducing the tax, you're actually amending the Constitution through the back door. And it also means then that this bill should go to the Senate because the Senate must have a role in anything that affects the counties. And that is a point that you need to bear in mind. Lastly, it is a matter of the Constitution that you cannot introduce servitude. By telling someone that they must pay tax, which will not benefit them, and will go to the shareholders, as uh, your leaders have told us, that is servitude. Servitude that we must reject, and we must reject this bill in totality. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Dr. Mola. Members, before I give the next uh, speaker.